Hey, everybody. Dave Archer, the Atlanta Falcon Radio Network, and uh, we're excited to bring these series to you. These are different players we feel are going to have some impact for the Falcons in the draft today. Talking offensive line. Now, these might be guys that are going to go early, might be a little bit later in the first round, but these are all players that I think could be in position to be an Atlanta Falcon and wear that bird on the side of their helmet. This is a group that's a solid group, but really only one guy that probably falls into that number four shot spot should Atlanta stay home at number four in the draft, and that's Penny Sewell, the outstanding offensive tackle from Oregon. Six foot six, 330 pound junior out of Oregon coming out. Now remember, he opted out last year, did not play last season, so no tape from last year. Got to go back to 2019. And all of a sudden, you see this gigantic athlete, very athletic, with outstanding quickness, jump off the tape at you at that left tackle position. He's only 20 years old, so you're getting a guy that's going to be able to play for a long time. But I think the thing that sticks out for me as I watch Pene Sewell on tape is his solid punch with his hands. Huge human being, but then the great power in the hands to punch you and knock you off as the ability to get to the next level in the run game. I think he possesses all the tools to be that franchise left tackle position in the National Football League. So you think, well, wait a minute, we've got Jake Matthews at left tackle. That would mean some jostling potentially coming up. I'm, that's me talking. That's not Terry Fontenot talking or Arthur Smith talking, but it would take some jostling to potentially. Penny Sewell is not going to slide inside. Someone else is going to have to play that position. He is a left tackle, and he has a chance to be one for a great long time in the National Football League. Some of the things that you get a little bit concerned about with him, average strength, he's not a dominant player from a strength standpoint, a little bit inconsistent with his feet, but he recovers so nicely because of how athletic he is. Vinay Sewell is the one guy to me for the Falcons that sits at number four. You'd be fine taking him. Uh, he would be a solid pick at four. The rest of these guys, as we look at offensive linemen, there's some good ones. You're going to slide back in the draft. There's some conversation about whether Atlanta will stay at four, will they move back, garner some more draft picks. Here are some of the guys that come in, in play should you begin to slide back. Let's look at the big kid out of Northwestern, Rashawn Slater, 6'4", 315 pounder. Now, this is a kid that's a senior, played a lot of football at Northwestern. He's been a starter since his freshman year at the tackle position. He's got solid technique, both in the run and the pass it. The thing about Slater that sticks out now is this is a kid that could slide inside. He could slide in and play that left guard spot if you wanted to keep Jake Matthews at left tackle. But again, this comes into play should Atlanta move back. Too rich at four to draft LaShawn Slater or Rashawn Slater. But if you get into that 9, 10, 11 area where you slide back, get some more picks, Slater certainly comes in the picture. Another guy that would fall into that same category is Christian Derrishaw, six foot five, 314 pound junior coming out of Virginia Tech. Another guy without lit athletic feet. Uh, he's a guy that was outstanding. They had an outstanding run game at Virginia Tech this year. He comes off the ball and hits you in the mouth in the run game. And again, athletic enough to where he can recover should he get in a little bit of trouble. His lateral quickness and instinct is outstanding, both in the pass game and then his ability to slide up to that next level in the run game, to get to that linebacker, get that safety scraping across to create those running lanes in the second level to provide that path for a big play in your running game. He has a tendency to get a little bit lazy. You see it on tape. Sometimes his technique starts to kind of waver a little bit. Uh, but again, he uh, athletic enough where he recovers a good bit. Another guy that falls into this category that could kick inside that played left tackle. Now, these guys are all tackles that have the ability to slide inside. Elijah Vera Tucker, Tucker 6'4", 315-pounder. He is a junior coming out of USC. This guy is a big, burly dude. With He's got excellent strength. Now, I've, I've talked about a couple of guys. Maybe you wonder about their strength of point attack. You don't wonder that about this kid. Vera Tucker comes off the ball, and he mashes. you got big hands, solid, comes off under control, and really pops you. He can be a little bit heavy-footed from time to time, which makes his pad level kind of rise, raise up a little bit, drop that pad level down, and he will be outstanding. Uh, at the next level. But again, Elijah Vera Tucker, Christian Derrishaw, and Rashawn Slater, all guys you could kick inside to the guard position, and they would fit nicely in an Atlanta Falcon uniform, filling that left guard spot for the Falcons. The other guy that I like is Taven Jenkins. Now, this guy, a little bit more of a tackle, six foot six, 320 pounds. 
has some ability potentially to slide inside, but played tackle at Oklahoma State. He's a senior coming out, has a lot of play time under his belt. Uh, played both tackle spots too. Again, another uh, ability to be versatile in playing both spots because let's face it, you only have so many guys available on your roster on game day. Can you move guys around and can they be effective at playing other positions? Uh, the tackle spots on both sides, Taven Jenkins fits that spot out of Oklahoma State. There's our breakdown of the offensive line and who we think might be in play for the Atlanta Falcons in that first round somewhere along the line. Stay tuned for more breakdowns of positions we feel like are going to impact the Falcons in 2021.